Hello my soccer universe. Let's look another one of my South American shirts and I'm gonna go now chronologically. I told you my third ever jersey was this Peru jersey where you have the video up here. And the next one that I got was actually quite surprisingly. I looked over the my back then my favorite store which was worldsoccershop.com. Uh, I was living in America and they were having sales and I was looking at let's see what jerseys do they have on sale and I saw they have an Argentina jersey for I think it was $30 or something like that it was really cheap they wanted to get rid of them um, and I have to say that I didn't know at the time but the world soccer shop uh, the, they have two hubs from where they ship jerseys from and one was just uh, 45 minutes down the road from where I was living in North Carolina yeah, I'm in Mebben and I really thought oh it would be nice to go to that store once and really check out what they have and maybe get a free pass and take a few me with me. Uh, I was driving by there every time I went to a hockey game in Raleigh. Uh, it was kind of yeah that would be really really nice to have. And that Argentina jersey was you know the, the new World Cup range came in so they wanted to get uh, rid, rid of the old one and this was this 2008-2009 Argentina home jersey which I discussed long shall I get some printing that was still a time when I, when my brothers uh, claimed that a soccer jersey is only a soccer jersey with a number which you know I learned then when you wear them wash them a lot the numbers come come off and I don't like that although meanwhile I also know how to take care of that so I said, well, let's get a number 10. Uh, shall I get a player, Messi or whatever on there? I said, nah, you know, it's Maradona and Messi. I don't know. I don't want to decide between those two. And then in addition, then I heard that my brother is, become, is getting a son and I'm going to be an uncle for the first time. And he was about to name his son Diego. This is my Diego shirt. That's why I have number 10 here. And I have a number 10 on the back, but I have no name. Now the astute view of soccer jersey will say this is not the 2008-2009 uh, lettering style for uh, Adidas. No, it's not. This is the 2010 style because they didn't have the original one any anymore. So I have a jersey that's called in, in between two phases. The jersey is 2008-9, the lettering is 10-11, uh, which makes it kind of unique. Um, and you know, yes, I'm a little bit upset about that on the other side. I don't care uh, too much either. That is something that I find special. So, and it happens these days as well. But yeah, uh, is it the greatest Argentina shirt? No, it's a typically uh, late 2000s creation. I like the striping, I like the color, I like even the white color, but then you know, you have these patches here and then uh, the black sleeve straps with the uh, sleeve trim. So it's caught somewhere in between. Um, I was wondering if this was black or you know, if they made it all just white and don't have any black on there might be nice another reason why i got the number is because you know you have the adidas here in the center so the number needs to balance this out other otherwise the shirt would look weird i really like the argentina crest here and i know you cannot see it really but there is a sublimated pattern in there that's basically a little bit you can see here on the yeah you see here you see two stars that's the same two stars as here on the crest. There's a huge Argentina crest sublimated in there that you cannot really, really make out. I mean, a little bit, you can see it here, but it's absolutely uh, all over and it's even more elaborate than this crest here. Uh, I actually would love to see the whole, th I mean, I look at the jersey a lot, but to have like a stencil or whatever, you know, a, a sketch um, of the whole thing. So that's pretty nice. We have here, of course, the tag that was back then uh, for the 2008. Uh, it's the Climber Cool version. Um, as for ventilation, there's not much. There's a little patch under the arms here where you have some holes. There's a little bit here on the shoulders that goes over here and then on the patch here. And you can already see uh, this is coming slightly off. So I have to, I should iron over. Actually, it's broken. Now that I see it, you know, this Argentina, this side came off a little bit and that's what happens when you wear jerseys a lot and I was wearing this jersey, honestly a lot. Um, yeah, and the third reason why I got the number is there is this huge blue pack, back patch, similar, uh, you know, very weirdly shaped. You gotta get something on there because otherwise it looks down 
plain weird. So yeah, um, this I'm not so happy about because you know it's, it breaks up the strapping pad and then you have this huge sh uh, shield that kind of is almost too big, breaks it up a little bit. The front actually looks really nice. And this was my first real uh, blue and white Argentina jersey. And I said, yeah, this is something that you need in your collection. Now I, yeah, now I have one. It's my first one, I have another one too. And I'm quite happy to have such an Argentina jersey. It's really, really nice. Uh, and you know, Argentina is my take Peru aside, is my favorite uh, or uh, South American team. And so, yeah, the team in this jersey, the senior team was not as successful, but this jersey they won when they won the uh, Olympic gold medal. Of course, they had ghosted out the um, uh, crest here, which I think it was a first back then because before they just were wearing the jerseys, but I never saw them ghost it out. They had to ghost it out because, of course, there should be an Olympic crest and so on. Well, put this over. Looked really weird. But that's the design they wore in the Olympic final, I think, against Nigeria that they won 1 0. Uh, Messi's only international title so far. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and many, many others. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.